Resident Evil 4 is one of the greatest video games I've ever played, and this is going to be my love letter to it. But before we begin, I want to say a big thank you to the developers and the people who worked on this video game. You have all created a wonderful masterpiece that will be loved for many, many years, and all of your time, effort, and love put into this game has not gone in vain. And I want to say a big thank you to the community for creating amazing content and mods already since the game's release. I love the gameplay, I love the guns, I love the little secrets, the easter eggs, the collectibles, everything. I'm a huge Bethesda fan, I love Fallout and Elder Scrolls, and in those games I usually just loot until my inventory is full at max capacity, and then I sell all of it. In Resident Evil 4, I can go around looting and every enemy drops loot, and sometimes I would just stay in an area just to defeat the enemies just to see what they drop. No weapon feels useless and obsolete. That's crazy to me, because that's just good game design. To have the starting pistol, one that's easily outclassed by every other weapon in the game, be useful in late game and have its own unique ability and attribute, that's magical. For example, the first two pistols in the game are the weakest, but they are the only ones to be able to obtain the laser sight, minus the DLC pistol. This laser sight turns them into death laser cannons that shoot straight. But let's say you want something with more power, right? Like the red nine or the black tail, which do a lot more damage than those starting pistols. You're not going to be able to obtain the laser sight and you're going to be trading accuracy over damage. This is genius. I wish more video game developers thought like this because it means that if I didn't know the game and I'm jumping in for the first time and I pick the starting pistol, I'm not gonna feel like a complete asshat when there's a different pistol that's a little bit stronger because I have the only pistol that can do the thing that it does. And it makes me feel special. Like this is a unique run. And personally, I wanna go through the game many more times with all of the different weapons just to see how they perform throughout the entire game. I enjoyed the game so much that I'd beaten it multiple times and not just for the challenges, I've beaten the game just to beat the game again. And that's because I love it. It's fun. The developers put so much attention to detail, and I just want to say thank you for making all the weapons feel useful. Another thing, this game was meant to be sped run. Some of the challenges require you to speed run, and man does speed running feel good. Players have already discovered skips where you can get past doors, and as of recording, these have not been patched. I love this. I love that they have not fixed things that make the game easier or only if you know these secrets you can take advantage of them. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to leave your thoughts on the video game down below as well or any of your thoughts in general and I hope you have a great day or night. Maybe I'll catch you next time. See ya.